practically free. So I thought, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys how I did this. And uh, you know, I've got pedal boards everywhere all around here. I'm, I'm gonna show you exactly what I've got here. And maybe I can just show you. I've got my pedal board, my big pedal board down there, that little pedal board down there, all that stuff. And, I've, and I show those on the channel. Um, a bunch, but but today we're just talking about these simple pedal boards. I made it out of stuff I found in my garage, and then this Velcro, two inch Velcro. You can actually get this at Lowe's, but the best way to get it is on Amazon. You can find the link in the description. In fact, the link to the several key items are in the description. So this is the smallest, cheapest, easiest pedal board you could ever make, but for the same price also if you find some other stuff out in your garage, you can make a big pedal board just like this, all right? So I'm gonna show you what I did and how I actually did it. And then uh, you'll see that, uh, if I grab all this stuff, you see that you got this, this is gonna be my youth pedal board. So it's just gonna be a little one, uh, nothing nothing major, but you see it's got like, uh, you know, everything in there. I've got these little strips, I'll show you that too. So, you know, I built this awesome pedal board and I don't know if there's a YouTube video on that, but whatever. I found some old wood flooring in my garage. So this is actually tongue and groove flooring. It's very thin. And then I basically went and cut the tongue and groove off of it. And then I made it in different sizes. For example, like our acoustic player, he doesn't really need a lot, but he's gonna need, uh, he's gonna need this, which is like a chromatic tuner. And he's gonna need, I gave him a little chorus here. You know, I'm just kind of giving him some pedals that I found around my studio. I'm like, okay, what could acoustic use? Maybe a little chorus, maybe a little this, maybe a little reverb. Uh, on my pedal board, you'll see I got a little, little overdrive, little uh, reverb. Uh, these are all cheap pedals too, little tuner. Uh, and then for our bass player, I'm gonna give uh, our bass player this pedal board, which has just got a tuner on it, and then we have her direct box in, okay? So, you take, basically you just cut, as, I just cut as many as I wanted to. And this one actually, this big one is like a shelf. I found this shelf in my garage. It's an old shelf. I kind of spray painted the edges so it didn't look so ganky. I mean, seriously, that's like the gankiest pedal board ever. But this thing is going to be, this is going to work. It's going to work. You, uh, you put your pedals, uh, you strip it out nice like that. And like, dude, it's probably like a dollar. Okay. This whole thing, make all these pedal boards. I think it was like 10 or 15 bucks. Okay. So uh, after you get that done, then you put your other vocal strip down here on the uh, pedal. Okay, just cut it. I use a little hair dryer on the on the actual stuff because it comes off a lot, you know. So to get it to stick and stay, it's not like the best stuff in the world, but it, it'll hold your pedals down. All right, and uh, and then you can just take these and put them in any configuration you want. So you can get the, this in the description, okay? And then you can get uh, that. And then there's a couple other elements. Um, these are the little pedal board connectors. You can get these like in a 10 pack, I believe on Amazon. Maybe these little cheaper ones, these little green cheap ones. You got these, okay, you can do those. I like those, but you know, then you got these more expensive ones. I don't buy these expensive ones. I don't, I, this, this came with a pedal, okay? All right, that's number one. Number two trick, what I do, um, the la well, the last thing you're gonna need is power, okay? The cheapest pedal power you can get is this right here. This is the Donner. Okay, this thing's epic because it's a power supply, but it has like, I think six, let's see, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, it has five. So you can put five pedals on one. So easily, you could, you could plug this, these two in. So you don't have a bunch of power supplies, like two or three or four of them uh, for each pedal, or you don't have to deal with batteries. I don't, I don't like batteries or that. So um, for example, with this pedal board, you could take one, two, three, four, five pedals, you can take this one power supply and you just chain them together, bam, 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 bam. Now, a trick that I found is with this stuff that you cut, you can actually cut little strips of this Velcro, the stuff that you put on the back, and then it becomes like a little tie down. So if you wanna like tie your uh, stuff down, you can just go like this. You can just like tie it down wherever you need to so you can clean it up, okay? So you can use these little strips as many as you need on your pedal board. That is a tweak heck. A tweak hack, uh, that is a good hack. So this is gonna be my youth pedal board. I'm gonna have, this is actually a cool pedal. This is a this is a harmonic square. I don't, I don't know, it does like octaves and different things. Totally unnecessary, but you know, maybe on youth night, I'm gonna be like, I wanna do a solo and I wanna have like a low octave. Wow, 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 wow. So it's just kinda of some fun stuff. Then I got a little cheap delay, 
little cheap reverb. Now these are just cheap pedals. I've got my other main pedal board down here that I would use if I was gonna record or if I was gonna, but I don't have any problem using this. I don't have any problem using a $30 delay pedal. Why? Because it sounds good. It's, uh, it's not the same as this $200 pedal, but uh, you can go on Amazon and get these $30 or $40 pedals. Um, this is the Gunslinger. It's way, way too high gain for more, more normal stuff. I threw it on here just for fun. Um, you know, so I think you just have fun with your pedal boards. Uh, and the, the reason I did these cheap ones is because who's, I mean, you can buy like a $300 pedal board, uh, but not for my youth band. I just want something I can throw on the floor, stick some pedals on, plug it in and go. And that's, that's what this is. That's exactly what this does. Throw it on the floor, plug it in, you grab the Donner power supply, you're, you're, you're under, you're like five bucks, you know, five bucks for the pedal board, maybe 12 or 13 bucks for the power supply. All right, so that's that. Uh, there was something else I was gonna tell you guys. Um, I do like uh, these, these Behringer. I got these for really cheap. Chromatic tuner, TU100 Behringer tuners. Everybody should have a tuner pedal, okay? I don't, I don't wanna have anybody on stage with me without a tuner, and so, um, you know, some of our guys have like little, those little tuners you can put on your guitar, but you can't silent tune. With this, you can silent tune. You can push this down, you can tune, nobody can hear you, okay? And then if he's an acoustic player, he maybe he'll have some extra pedals to add to it. You can just kind of move them around, stick them on there. Now I haven't figured out if you wanted to put some rubber feet, I mean, you can put some rubber feet if you wanted to paint it. You can get as fancy as you possibly want to. Let me see if I can get uh, this camera down here and I'll show you the, the more fancier pedal board that I have. So it is, um, you know, it's, it's, it's basically like wood strips, you know, it's wood strips. I built like a frame, but th at the end of the day, I built, it kind of sits up off the ground so you can put your cables underneath it. But for my beat buddy, I just have a small little pedal board, you know, small little pedal board like that. So nothing, nothing major. Um, but seriously, if you're just trying to get into making a pedal board and you don't want to spend 100, 200, 300, or you don't want to spend all day in the garage, I made that one. And maybe if you guys want to leave me a comment, I'll show you how I made it. I made one for me. I made one for my brother and he's got a bunch of pedals, but um, happy birthday to you, brother. His birthday was yesterday. I should call him. Uh, yeah, so I should call my brother, brother for his birthday. The other thing that I'm thinking about doing and I'm gonna, I'm gonna do is now that I have the Beat Buddy, this thing, now I have all these pedals. See, I've got all of these, but they're, I'm always having to decide what pedal I should put on here. And then I got a couple extra pedals over here. I've got pedals that I want to bring. I am gonna make for my studio, I think, a really a larger pedal board, a bigger, like a like a massive one. Maybe like a it's gonna be a little further that way and it's gonna be another foot longer because I wanna put like my loop pedals on there and everything else. And then when I'm testing out different pedals, if I want to have different drives, I can put those. It's not it's not necessarily I don't think that's relative like if I'm gonna be traveling around pulling a pedal board out, plugging it in. Um, maybe this is even overkill for that. I mean um, it's hard to see. I got a new, I got a new pedal board uh, video camera coming, but it's hard to see. This is, this is, this might be a little bit even overkill, you know, for what I have. But I've got the MXR 300. It's, it's a little overkill. I've got some pedals, one pedal on there, this EQ that I haven't really used a lot. That one right there. But if I wanted to add a couple pedals, I could. See, I've got this uh, red box that's kind of fall off the edge there. It's, it's probably overkill for worship. But I'm doing more than uh, worship. I'm doing, you know, like these videos, and I, they'll say, like, I'll play at my church one week. Not very often, but I'll go there, I'll play. But I built this when I was playing a little bit more at my church. So I've got, obviously, a loop pedal, you know, and some tone pedals and some delay stuff. But I want to have a little more uh, flexibility, like, in my studio. So I want to build a bigger. And I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. But that's going to be big. You know, it's going to be obnoxious. It's probably gonna be like you know another foot longer and then I could uh, rewire it and put all the beat buddy and everything all into one although I may I may never put the beat buddy um, in there you want to hear the beat buddy here's the beat buddy that's the beat buddy right there yeah It's actually good if you throw in some reverb too. Um, but I'm, I'm gonna take, yeah, we gotta get the reverb off there. I'm gonna take, 
I don't know if I want to put the Beat Buddy on the pedal because that's kind of one of those things you might add to your rig, you know, like if you're going to church and you're like, oh, hey, the drummer quit this week or the drummer's sick, you know, you might grab your Beat Buddy, but you're not going to have your Beat Buddy on your, like you're not going to have it everywhere probably, so I, I don't know, but maybe, maybe it's worthy to stick it on there uh, or not, but I don't know. So let me know what you think about this. What, let me let me know what you think about the, the easy pedal boards. Uh, just a couple of the hacks. I keep them simple. Uh, I use a hair dryer to put the to to heat up the not the pedal. Don't heat your pedal up too much. I use a hair dryer to heat up the uh, the Velcro. I use these extra little strips to cable manage, which are brilliant. And then. Uh, you know, you just throw this on the ground. If you wanted to get fancy, you could put a little rubber backing or something on it, or a couple feet, or anything. But this is literally a piece of my floor. Okay, this is literally a piece of flooring. See that? That is a tongue and groove piece of flooring that I cut, and I put some Velcro strip on there, and then anywhere I go, I can grab this. Now I had a pedal like this. I had a pedal board like this before, and I ended up using it a lot. So I was like, well, for the youth group, why don't I just make a bunch of pedal boards that way if we get new kids coming or if you get like want to reconfigure somebody's stuff you just grab them here throw pedal boards everywhere all right so that's basically uh my pedal board video uh let me think of i'm gonna think is there anything else other than just look in the description for the links to everything i used okay and also for the gear list worshipbandbuilder.com slash gear then you can see my gear all the links to that too and i put just random stuff on there that i'm using so you can get it it also supports the channel. Also, you can just subscribe. Like, if you like what you see, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you on the next video. God bless.